think as we look out in what can feel like a very dark time for these issues, three things really do give me hope and give me optimism for the future. The first is the increased engagement and the heightened profile that we're seeing of these issues, and especially the increased engagement of, of young people who are feeling these issues and expressing that in very different ways than we have heard recently. The second, I think, is the the efforts to really bring to the fore the voices of, of the women themselves, the importance of these services, the importance of these providers, the connections that women feel to their everyday lives, the importance of the ability to make decisions about their childbearing to the things that they want for themselves, for their family, to be able to get an education, to be able to get a job, keep a job, and to hear those stories is absolutely invaluable and makes this, these issues feel real and important to people in ways that otherwise would not be possible. And the third thing that really does give me hope is the, the expanding involvement of the business community. I think the business community brings a very important voice to this conversation and a voice that I think has been lacking for way too long. I think that can highlight the connections between women having agency over their childbearing decisions and their economic empowerment. The business community sees the importance of women as people who work for them, women, people who innovate for them, women who support their businesses and, and therefore further their economic goals as well. I think in, even in this purported fact-free world that we seem to be entering into, I think there is still an enduring role for the data and the evidence. And what the Guttmacher Institute tries to do is to bring the, that substantive foundation to these debates so that the debates are rooted and grounded in something more than just political screaming and yelling. So they are de grounded in, in reality and the real realities of people's lives. And we see this information used by students. We see it used by the media. We see it used by policymakers. And we hope, at least, that it it serves as, as a, a route for connecting people to the largest story and connecting what they're seeing in their own lives and their own world to the largest story and the larger dimensions of the issues.